You're late for work. I just spent an hour with oh. the cops. Okay, my neighbor was found dead last night. Better her than you, eh? Suppose you gave him my name? No. Why not? I don't know. Fortune cookie told me not to, I guess. Do you know what this is? The Eye of Horus. It's an Egyptian symbol of protection, or so they say. It was carved on my front door. Guess it works. No, 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 Okay, this is not some mystical forces at work here, okay? There was a man. I saw him in the hallway. I live meet Chaz. He's my driver. An oldest mate. He made the carving that kept him safe. Mine always looks like wounded birds. But Chaz knows his way around the blade. Don't worry, I learned my knife skills in culinary school. Oh, how I missed your rack of lamb. I'm glad you're safe. Not a big talker, that one. Now, if you had listened to me, none of this would have been necessary. Are you suggesting that it was my fault that Talia got killed? No, that would be impolite. But I have, and on good authority, you've been marked for death. Bodies will keep piling up if we don't get you off the street. Why would anyone want me dead? I'm a nobody. I hate to burst your bubble, love, but you ain't a nobody. I know your father before he died. Okay, no, Jasper no, no, no. Richards, lovely Wait, man. wait, wait. Okay, now I know that there's a mistake, okay? Because I'm adopted. My mother didn't even know my birth father. I did a lot more than meat, and I can prove it. Open this, it belonged to Jasper. No. Mom? Liv, oh good. Roy's going to paper up the guest room. You can help us pick patterns. Afternoon, Liv. Hi, Roy. Boy, honey, why don't you give us uh, some time, little girl time. Keep her away from the florals. Did you know my father? What a random question. You know the adoption agency never gave me the name of your birth parents? Look at me, Mom. <laughs> it's true. You've been lying. I understand how it might appear that way. You're my birth mother? You said that you picked me because I had Nana's smile. Why, why would you do that? I don't think I'm prepared to talk about this. Yeah, neither am I. It's only a teenager. I ran away from home to get away from my mom. You ran away. Your Nana, rest her soul, had a good heart, but she believed a woman's power was to catch a husband. Every day of my life is a beauty pageant. I hated it. So who's my father? Some boy at a rock festival in the desert. We were both drunk and angry at our parents. I never saw him again. Why would you lie about that? A woman who chooses to be a single mother is a better role model than a stupid girl who gets knocked up at a rock concert. I lied to you because I don't want you to be like me. I want you to find your power, your understanding. I'm trying to understand. I... So what was he like, Dad? Well, he was cute. What a smile. And charming. But otherwise, he was just another drunken teenager with a sunburn. I think Jasper knew about me. How do you know his name? I met one of his friends. He gave this and said it belonged to him. I mean, does this look familiar to you? What's the matter, baby? Nana? Liv, what's wrong? Liv! Teenage boy was killed tonight. How'd you find me? You're at the nearest pub. So I am. He was killed on Chambers Street. We knew something about it, and we could have done something to stop it. You can't adopt this philosophy, love. It'll drive you mental. Or it'll save innocent people from being killed. You know, I figured it out, John. I know why that demon was after me. You did now, did you? Your friend, Richie, told me about the surge and the attacks. So I went to the library to scry. Look, it's happening everywhere. Take my advice. Go back to your rental cars. Live in the Hobbit house. It'll keep you safe. I can never go back. Knowing what I do, I need to find these things and stop them like my father did, and I can't do it alone. I'm afraid you're sniffing around their own lamppost. I paid my debt to your dad. You're alive, aren't you? But other people are dying. I mean, if you don't do it to help them, then do it for Astra. I mean, give her loss some meaning. Hidden below the belt seems my lessons are rubbing off. I'll think about it, okay? Don't think too long. 
<laughs> hey, you made it. Did you just come from a dance class? Um, actually, I danced here. <laughs> Saves money on gas and parking. So, do you want to take a look at my visual aids? One of them requires 3D glasses, so I'm going to have to go ahead and get your signature in case you're nearly prone to seizures. <laughs> What's your bag? I mean, I've just never met anyone with this energy before. Oh, I just, you know, want to make sure that I help land this client. And, oh, and my bag's from Ross. Okay, well, the client's named Mark. He's over there with his people. Kind of a party guy, just FYI. Hmm, aye, aye, Captain, sir. Sorry, I'm going to cool it down with the salutes. <sighs> I'm Ellen Peters with Arson and Company, and I just wanted to talk to you all about potentially spinning your warehouse into a new business opportunity. Wow, I hadn't thought of that. Now, mm -hmm. one question. Are you a stripper? I am not. Do you know any strippers? No, but um, I can definitely score you some sweet potato fries because I saw a food truck out front there. Um, Hi, you're Ellen, right? Lucy, Jerry's okay. partner. Look, I know you're new to the company, so here's a little advice. If you want to sell the client, you have to walk away from them. Away. Okay. I, I think I'm in the coat check. This is where the magic happens. Right. I just, you know, want to do everything I can to help. Ellen, have a drink. Enjoy yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> that is a glass of wine. 180 calories and empty calories at that. Okay. Bye-bye. What are you doing? Decorating my new office. You know, I was thinking about getting a candle with ammonia scent, you know, to try to go along with the space. thought you didn't want this office. Yeah, I was stupid. Um, look, I'm lucky to be working and billing, and you guys sent me a care package while I was at vet camp, and you tried to throw a welcome home party, which was really sweet, and you never called me Ruben Stutter. Everyone called me that, right? Once or twice. So I'm sorry I got those dumb ideas in my head about rising up through the company. I mean, not that it really explains it, but I never went to prom. Someday I'll actually tell you what I did do on my prom night. Involves an Arby's. Super gross. Ellen, payroll meeting in the conference room. Okay. Thanks again for last night. Ellen, you got... You good to work late tonight? Of course. Project on your desk. You want to be a partner someday? You're going to have to get an accounting degree. You're getting out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Celebrate with tacos? Study. <laughs>